All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and just jump in and get started. Um, I think all three of you guys are on. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm so excited for tonight. First off, I just have to say, I've had so many of y'all message me and ask about these three ladies because they are just absolutely killing it. They're actually all on the same team under Lauren. So Lauren, we're gonna start with you. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna all, I'll have each of you guys share your stories and then I'll ask like one question at a time and then you guys can kind of just go and like bounce off of each other and answer it, which I'm sure a lot of the answers are gonna be the same because like I said, they're on the same team. Um, but Lauren, if you'll just unmute yourself, um, we'll start with you. You can just share your story, talk about where you started with the business and where you're at now and go from there. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Oh yeah, it actually worked for the first time. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, hey everyone, I'm Lauren. I am 22 and I'm from Louisiana and I joined this business about five and a half months ago because Courtney followed me and I followed her back and I saw a picture that she posted about how she made so much money from her phone and I instantly messaged her, well actually no, I took about two weeks of me stalking her and just making sure it was legit and I messaged her. And um, I basically just asked her like what she did because like I wanted to be just like that and I didn't really care what it took I just wanted to do it so I signed up and I kind of just been like running since then I just don't really I try to like keep the momentum going because once it slows down it's so easy to just like stop so I just try to keep the momentum going and luckily I've had like really amazing people sign up underneath me obviously so that's made my business a lot better too but that's basically all my story is I am a diamond now I just went diamond last month so yes. super excited. So she's been diamond team. How many bonuses? Like sixteen thousand and bonuses so far, haven't you? Because you earned the ruby bonus, um, emerald, and now diamond. Wait, diamond seventy five hundred. Okay, it's like how many? I don't know how much that is. I can't do math right now. <laughs> but she's earned a lot of bonuses basically. Yeah. And you're working too. Right. right. I you have know? a part time job. Yes. Yeah, so she's working, and you're making more with this now than your job, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so crazy. Are you still, you're getting your master's still, or are you done? My master's, yes, I am still getting my master's. So I do online school, and then part-time job, and then this. So. Okay, so basically she could have a million different excuses, but she's just killing it all around. And something that I just think is so funny about Lauren is, like, she'll be, like, going 100 and then she'll be like Courtney like I don't know like I don't know what to do like I feel kind of stuck and then like she'll have like one day like that and then the next day she's like enrolling a million people again it's just so funny but um because last month I know that sometimes you were like this is not going to happen like I'm not going diamond and then like the next day you'd be like I'm going diamond this is happening so is it it's just so crazy like how the fear like sinks in like when you're shooting for a promotion mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I think super nervous but like I don't know, like you said, if I just, like, take a day, I just, that whole day that I'm, like, questioning myself, it's just, like, a negative day, I'm getting, like, nothing in my DMs, and I think it's just, like, my negative mindset, so that's why I always, like, reach out to you or, like, my team members to, like, get motivated again, because as soon as my mindset changes, I'll get someone so random, be like, I'm interested in buying some coffee, I'm like, this is why I do this, like, if you just have that positive mindset, it just happens. I don't know. Yeah, but seriously, it is. It's such a huge just mind game for sure. But no matter what, you've never stopped working ever. No matter what, like she'll send me a message where she might be feeling like she just needs to reach out to me, kind of just tell me what's going on and maybe not be feeling the best or feeling like things are just going against her during her promotion. And then like, she's still posting, she's still on top of it, still working with her team and stuff. So no matter what, she's still pushing and that's just what makes such a difference. So Anyways, congratulations on Diamond again. You are seriously so incredible. Um, so we'll go ahead and have Anna. You'll share your story, and then we'll go back, like I said, to the questions as well. So okay. you'll be able to unmute yourself. Yes. Awesome. So, hey, I'm Anna. Um, I'm underneath Lauren. Um, Lauren and I have actually been friends for a really long time, since we were in a, fr a freshman in high school. So, what, nine years now? Um, and so she started posting about making a bunch of money and, um, I kind of reached out to her because, um, I had been praying for a second income cause I'm a geometry teacher and a softball coach at a private Christian school in um, Louisiana. And I don't make a lot of money doing that. 
And so I was just praying for an extra income and I saw Lauren was making a lot of money. And so I reached out to her and I was like, how in the heck are you doing this? And she kind of told me about it. And then, um, long story short, the $20 deal came up and she was like, there's no better time to join the now. And so I was like, you're right. Like God has given me an opportunity, um, to do exactly what I was asking him to do. And I joined and just like Lauren, like me and my team, like we're just a sprinting team. Like I tell them all the time, like, if you're not really willing to run and sprint on this team, like we need to fix your positive attitude about the business. Like we've got to get you with the right mindset because you, mindset, cause you have no idea what you can do with this business if you don't see your own potential. So that's pretty much how I, how I joined. Did you ever expect it to take off like it has? Oh no, 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 I did not. I was absolutely just looking for, um, a side income just to like pay my like fun bills because I was counting on my teaching job to pay my bills bills. But then like, I was always having to say no to go to dinner with friends or like saying no to like doing, you know, anything because I didn't, I just had enough money for bills. But now that I have a second income, I literally have been able to do whatever I want and haven't had to count pennies literally every time I go out to eat. <laughs> like I don't have to order the cheapest thing on the menu. <laughs> so it's nice. That's what you've earned. What? 6,000 in bonuses now? Yes. Yeah. I just went emerald. So, and I will go diamond this month. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going diamond. I will do it. You guys, this is these girls all the time. Lauren's already like, okay, I'm going double. Like they're ready. Like we're running. Like I get these messages every day. Like the thing with these ladies is they started and they just believed in themselves. And like, I think one of the biggest things that I get from you guys just from watching your Instagram stories every day is your confidence. It just is like vibing, you know, like people, the confidence is so huge in this business and every single one of you on this have that confidence. You guys are so confident. Your stories just always crack me up because they get on there. They, sh they talk like in videos, they show their face, they show their real people and they're just so real. And that is what just does it for you guys. And you guys are just running and killing it. I'm just so excited because it's just been so awesome to watch and in such a short amount of time. Like you guys are just blowing my freaking mind, but Okay, we'll go ahead and have Reagan get on and share her story, and then we'll go back through to the questions after that. Oh, I think you're... Oh, I need to unmute myself. Sorry. Um, okay, so I'm Reagan. Um, I am Ruby, charted for Emerald. I've been charted for Emerald for two months. This month, I am going Emerald. Like, I do not care. I'm focused on spending the rest of my $20 coupon to fill up my diamond chart um it's been a struggle I think we all know the deal about struggle with teams and and finding the right people that have the same kind of mentality that you do um and so that's one thing that I've definitely had to, you know grow from and um basically my story works and I think this is when it was kind of new. Um, and I was like, I have no idea what this is. It's probably a scam. Like, there's no way she's making this much money. I even asked my mom about it. And my mom was like, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Like, y'all. So she followed up with me several times. And I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Well, um, come July of this past summer, Lauren joined. And Lauren, um, Lauren and I also went to high school together. Funny story. Um, joined the same sorority in college. She was my grand big. And so um, I saw her posting about it and she had joined the team and making all this money. And so I kind of got curious. And so I called her and I was like, okay, Lauren, like, well, what are you doing? Cause, and especially like that summer I had worked a babysitting job and I was really frustrated about it because, um, I was keeping two kids from eight to five every day, four days a week, four days a week, excuse me. And, um, I was literally getting like $5 an hour. Like I was so underpaid. I was so mad about it. Like the summer before the lady was paying me a lot more. So I was expecting to make the same amount. And so this past summer I was so mad. I was not making the same amount, but I couldn't be like, you know, like, can you pay me more? So, um, I had quit my babysitting job at the end of the summer. I wasn't going to go on into the rest of the school year so I was left with just my minimum wage on campus job at my school and so when I called Lauren she told me everything about um the business what they do and I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I was like why not let me see if I can do this like I think I'm capable of it I'm active on social media why not um ironically and this is like such a god thing y'all um so I'm a junior in college um I have I'm supposed to have two years left, but in August I started school and I met with my advisor and he said, you realize you just have 18 credit hours left to take, right? And I said, what? And he was like, yeah, like you'll be done in May. 
And so at this point I'm like freaking out. Cause I'm like, do I need to add like another minor? Like, what do I need to do? Because like, I'm not prepared for, to go to grad school or like be on my own or have a big girl job, like not prepared at all. Um, but it's so crazy. Like this business came just at the right time because I joined at the end of July and school started like two weeks into August. So I'm like doing this business and I'm like, you know what? If I work this business and work my way to the top, like I want to, I can afford grad school. I can afford life after college, my own apartment. I can afford to travel. I can afford the wedding I've always wanted. And so it really kind of held a security for me, um, knowing that. And so, um, so yeah, so I've joined under Lauren and we have been running ever since. Um, I've been adding girls to my team, making sales, doing everything that we all do on a regular basis. And it's just fun. Like that's the one thing I tell girls whenever um, I'm like messaging them and like trying to get them to join the team. And I'm just like, it's just honestly fun. Like you get to talk to people and you get to change their lives and you get to be passionate about something. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, that's my story. I love it. You're amazing. I Something I love so much about you is you're so positive. Like I know we've talked several times about your chart and you've been charted like you said for Emerald for a while now. And you know, it's just been a matter of like finding those people that want it just as bad as you do. And instead of like letting that defeat you, like you just keep going and you're just like positive about it. And you just like keep figuring out what you need to make it happen. And like, you're just going to grow and go so far because of your mindset and your positivity. Like it's just, I don't know. I just love it because a lot of people, it defeats them and it lets them, you know, it gets in their mind and it makes them quit and like you pushing no matter what. So it's just gonna make it so much more worth it when you hit your goal too, which is ah, so exciting. But I think with these girls too, like, their goals are growing so quickly. Like they're having to learn so quickly, but they're just catching on. They're willing to learn. They're, they know what they need. They're like, okay, here's my chart. Like they know what they're going for. And I think that's just so important when it comes to this business. So I can't wait to watch you go to Emerald this month. So, um, all right, Lauren, we'll go back to you with questions and then we'll go. I sent like the same questions to all of you all. And I'm sure like they're going to be a lot of the same, but I know you guys all just like have your own way of like doing things too. So really, we just want to hear what you're doing on, on a daily basis to grow your business, how you're enrolling customers, how you're enrolling distributors, because all of you all are killing it at that. So. Okay. I'm, okay. You can hear me. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, basically on the daily, I definitely get a hundred messages out. Um, obviously like we all get blocked. Okay. So I used to just wait until I got unblocked and now that's just not a thing. So while I'm blocked, I've taken it to the comments section of people's pictures and I just do like a short little like, Hey girl, like I followed you for a while now. I really like your page. I can offer you my discount on some products. DM me for some info. Like, so while I'm still like sending out messages basically when I'm blocked and you can send, you can comment on unlimited photos. So I've found that has really worked for me. Um, I post basically all day. Like I don't just post like morning, afternoon, dinner. Like I like post throughout the day. I don't just post about the company, even though most of it is about that. But like Courtney said, I try to keep it very real. <clears throat> Excuse me. And like taking videos of myself like talking like if I mess up I post it anyway so people can like I always well something I've recently been thinking is like I feel like people like it more when it's real not perfect so like I don't try to sound too strict scripted I just talk like I would normally talk to like a friend so like that seems to really work for me and then obviously just like following people follow a ton of people um, I find it really helpful to follow people you kind of have something in common with. So like I'll follow of, like sorority girls or I don't know, like people who like urban outfitters clothes or like something that people have in common with me. So that's basically what I do on a daily and I get on eSuite every single day. I stay super organized when it comes to that just because volumes change and it gets overwhelming. And definitely a number one thing is communicate with your team. Like I talk to Anna, Reagan, and my like top leaders daily and Courtney. Like I like to all be on the same page just so it just makes it so much easier when everyone is keeping up with their own things. But like when you're working as one, you get so much more done. So that's basically what I do every day. Yes. So I love that you're messaging. So whenever you first started, okay, first off, I just have to say, I'm pretty sure I had a follow up with you a couple times. Like you originally 
reached out to me, but I just remember like reaching out to you and be like, Hey, like you just need to like go for it and do it because you were like scared. So, and something else I know is that your Instagram is like the, like her Instagram is so pretty. You guys like she, like you were one of those people that were nervous to like post about this. So can you kind of share how you got past that? Because I know we have a lot of new people on and you know, Instagram is such a, you know, that's something I think we all get scared about at first. So like, how is like, how'd you get past being like scared of that? So I kind of just started seeing it as like, I didn't have to change necessarily my Instagram. You kind of just have to change your caption. So like what I do, like I honestly, my Instagram now is like cuter or whatever than it's ever been ever because I started really investing in my Instagram. So like, even if it's like a picture, like a boring picture of me next to a brick wall, like I'm going to make that brick wall look the cutest it's ever looked like ever. Like it's going to be such a good picture because I know that like with a picture being cute, it can kind of like it kind of makes it okay that I'm about to post a caption that's this long or like talk about a personal thing or a product. So people like do like to see my things. And I've realized that like, even the people who don't one, they'll unfollow you if they have an issue and you'll never even notice truly. And like two, it's, it's worth it. Like I had to kind of ease into it, but I always ask Courtney, like, how are you so successful truly? And she's like, it's cause I post like, and she posts like every single day, multiple times a day. And it doesn't annoy me obviously. And none of us, cause like we join. So that's how I look at it. Like I'm okay with annoying some people if it's going to help that one person. So I kind of just said, you know what, like I, if I want to be as successful as possible as like Courtney is like, I'm just going to do it and it's paid off. So now I don't really care to like care about my post as much, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. And that's what I love too, is I think a lot of us join and we're like, oh my gosh, like we have to post family looking stuff. And it's like, no, we want you to do the exact opposite. Like we want it as personal as possible. And I think that just makes everyone feel so much better. And I think it definitely made you feel better too. And I know like, you know, you didn't probably post much before, like maybe once every once in a while. So just getting out that consistency, has that really just changed the game for you? Just being so consistent with it? Yes. And honestly, like I am still working my way like up to it. Like I tell Reagan and Anna all the time, like y'all one day I'm going to post every single day. What like, just like Courtney does. It's like a slow work in progress. I am getting there, but like, I can definitely tell like, that's why my business has grown. So like, that's like a mind thing. Like really, once you just start making the decision, like you're just going to be like, let's do it. It's going to pay off. So I say just starting sooner rather than later. Cause even I look at myself and I'm like, I wish I would have started do like doing it sooner because it's just grown so fast because of it. Yeah. And you're all, so you guys all live pretty close too. You're all from the same. Okay. Yeah. Cause they all get together all the time and like take the cutest picture. So that's something else too, is like you guys like take a day, literally take a bunch of different outfits, change, get a friend, like Brandon is my photographer, like take a crap ton of pictures on one day that you actually get ready and do something with yourself. So um, that definitely helps when it comes to posting too. So you're super consistent um, as far as messaging. So do you get most of your customers from messaging or posting on stories? Both, like, what do you do? How are you getting so many customers? Because you, she's a mass enroller with customers. I would say both. Um, polls used to work when I first started more than messaging because all my friends were like, oh, this is new. Like, I want to try. But eventually, all the people that you know try. So you have to start reaching out. So once you get deeper into your business, I would definitely say that messaging is more helpful, but definitely like posting polls to see like who is interested. Cause a lot of people won't message you first, but they might vote on a poll. So that's kind of what I, I think it would, it's definitely both. Yeah. Doing both for sure. Um, so how are you feeling the deal? Like how do you get so many people to just like do it? Okay. Well, honestly, you have to be good at this. <laughs> I'm kind of a psycho. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, um, I don't like, I follow up like literally until someone says like, no. So like, I won't take it as a no, or I'm going to quit until they literally like, no, thanks. Like I'm not interested anymore. Or like, I don't want your products or something. I'm like, okay, got it. Won't leave you. Like I won't message you anymore but if they like just even like leave me on red like multiple times I will keep on reaching out if it's like that kind of situation I will send them like 
deals that I'm posting on my stories, let them know, like I'm still like thinking about them. Um, if they're like really like we're about to buy, I might offer them like free product or that's, I mean, yeah, that's basically what I do. Like I just following up is like a big, big thing. I rarely ever have someone buy like the first time. Okay. Yeah. And I love that you just say that because the fortune is 110% in the follow up and she enrolls you guys. Like, I mean, I know it just depends, but four or five customers some days. And so what she's doing is working. So definitely be taking notes on what she's doing. Um, okay. What about getting distributors? Cause you are also a mass enroller with distributors. So she's built like herself, like completely. So what are you doing? Um, for distributors, I honestly don't send out messages. I have done that and I have enrolled people from that, but everyone I've enrolled that way has quit. So it definitely, I think people reaching out to you first is the way to do it. And the way I get people, I don't know. Sometimes I think like I post a lot about the company and I make videos of myself talking and, um, I try to be like really honest. Like I said, I don't try to make it sound like a perfect thing because like, I think people get like wrapped up in like trying to make it sound like it's the easiest job ever that when people come and join and they see that it's not the easiest job ever, they'll quit. So I started kind of just being really honest. Like when I talk to people about the business, I'll be like, could you, honestly dedicate like 30 to 45 minutes a day working with me and post daily on your story and post occasionally on your page like would you be okay with that and honestly some people were like honestly no and I'm like okay that's it's fine you know like at least we know now and not halfway in, like during like enrolling so I feel like that's really helped a lot but definitely staying consistent with posting on your actual page like the stories help with that but like the fact that you're like consistently getting on that's why like I joined with Courtney that's why most of us did join you know like we saw it every single day or like all the time like she wouldn't stop talking about it so like I feel like definitely posting is the way I get them yeah consistency for sure and I think it is so much of like your realness like she said she doesn't sugarcoat it and I think that we get so caught up in that sometimes we're like, what do I say? I want it to sound perfect. Like I don't want to lose this potential, but like, honestly, just be straight up with them. Talk to them as if you're talking to your best friend. So just like she called Reagan, she called Anna and they both signed up with her because she was honest with them. She told them what's going on. And so if that's like the last thing you could leave us with, what did you do when you first started? Like you have a lot of your, you know, friends that joined you right off the bat and they're growing with you. So like, what did you do? Did you just get them on the phone? Like, do you have any tips for anyone who just started and like are nervous to like reach out to their, uh, to the people they actually know? Um, reaching out to people that I knew I was kind of nervous about it too, just cause like I didn't know how they would react, but like I, like literally everything I do, whether it be customers or distributors, like being honest about everything is just the way to go. Um, I'm not going to try and sell someone and convince them that they're going to, you know, lose a hundred pounds from drinking our coffee. So like when I'm trying to reach out to people that I know, especially like I want them to really like what they get. Cause I'm probably going to hear from them again in my lifetime. It's not just like a random person. So I just try to keep it really real, like tell them what I knew about the products and that like, obviously like what they could do to like help them work better or anything like that. And just be honest about also like your situation. Like I just started this company. Like it would mean like a lot to me if you were like one of my first product testers and like, um, like you could get me started. That's really how I got. Cause I enrolled my first four customers in like two days and I really wasn't expecting that. And also reach out to people that you think m might tell you no, reach out to them anyway and just be like super real and like be excited about what you're trying to sell as well so like don't just be like hey can you like help me out like I'm trying to get some money like no like just be excited about the products like I think that like the reason Courtney sells so much keto coffee and greens is because oh my gosh like does she love it or no like she loves that stuff y'all so like everyone like loves it with her so if you just are confident about everything that you're doing, even with people that you know, like, and if you're worried about people being like, that's not her, like, why is she so excited? Because that was something I struggled with. Because like, I'm very just like chill, like not like, yay, like I love coffee. But like, now like it, it turns like 
you kind of just gotta fake it till you make it almost like it was at first a struggle but now like I do feel that way about it like I am passionate about it so like you just gotta fake it till you make it and everything you do is going to be worth it I promise yeah, that's, that's it. it you're amazing so if you okay sorry I said that was the last one actually I'll let you think about this one and we'll come back to you at the end so if you could give just any tips on someone working towards a promotion right now like what were the things that just like really made it happen for you last month you can think on that if you want um, we'll go ahead and switch over to Anna and then we'll come back to you at the end about that. And you guys, if you all have any other questions for them um, throughout this, go to the chat and just ask questions in there and we can like go through those as well. All right, Anna. So what are your daily non-negotiables? What are you doing every single day to build your business? Okay. So um, I have a really, really kind of strict routine. Um, because I am a teacher so and a softball coach, so I get to work at the same time every day. I leave at the same time every day. I have the same schedule every day. I'm busy at certain times of the day. I'm not busy at certain times of the day. So um, during the morning, like I wake up early in the morning so I can message. When I'm brushing my teeth, I'm messaging. Sometimes if I'm taking a shower, I'm messaging people. Like I take every second that I'm not physically doing something with my hands to message. Um, and then I take a lot of my time in my planning period at school to message people. And I've started to do the same thing that Lauren does in commenting on pic people's pictures um, and posting a lot of polls. Um, I've also started to um, post polls that aren't relevant to, to the business. So I have engagement with my followers. Um, so I make time to like make polls that are not relevant to this, the business. Like, do you like, chocolates or gummies better do you like you know white christmas lights or color christmas lights so i just have people i know people are going to respond to my polls so i take time to make those and post those as well um and then i'm busy from about one to five with class and practice i'm teaching and then i go straight to softball practice so i can't be on my phone so i know that during the evening time i have to set aside two or three hours to to work because this is a job um, so it's either right after work until like dinner time or it's like from eight to 10, like I'm going to work. It just kind of depends in the evening, but I'm posting, I'm messaging and I'm following up with all of my customers. Like I'm making sure that they know that I'm still there for them. Um, so, um, that's pretty much like my daily, like I don't have like a strict, like I do this at this time, but I make sure like every second that I'm not like physically doing something, I'm posting and messaging people to get the word out about these products. So time management for sure. And something I love about all three of you all is like all of you guys could use so many excuses of I don't have time. All of them are so busy, guys. I mean, everyone is so busy. And so if you're on here and you're wondering, like, these are the girls that should just inspire you because they are all have crazy schedules. And no matter what, I swear every single day I watch their stories, I see their posts and they are just on top of it. So I just love that. So I notice also that you get on a lot of trainings with your own team. So I think a lot of people get nervous. Like they don't feel confident enough to get on like Zooms and stuff and just like preach and talk to their team and just, you know, really invest that time pouring into them. So what do you guys have a certain routine that you go off of that? Like, what do you do to really just help guide your team? Yeah. So, um, we have like a schedule of having a Zoom every Sunday at about eight to eight thirty. Um, so we can kind of just update each other um update each other about the business like if there are any new promotions or something um at the beginning of the month we talk about like what our goals are for the month like this past sunday we talked about like team goals like what do you want to be at the end of the month what do you want to be um at the end of this week like what are your goals for the week in the month and we are super active in our group messages on our phones um we make sure that every morning we're sending a motivational message a voice memo to our team like hey happy monday like let's get crap done today like we're doing amazing things today. What do y'all want to do today? I want to make three sales today. Um, so we make sure that we're having goals and we like document those in our group message. So we're actually holding each other accountable. We're not just saying them, but we're putting um, them out in the open. So other people know what we're trying to achieve and we can be like, Hey, how's that? You know, finding two distributors coming. Um, we're holding each other accountable so that we are able to like actually achieve our goals and we're not just kind of staying and throwing it away when we like when we're done. Okay, yeah, awesome. And so like whenever you get a brand new distributor that just starts, what are some things that you do to get them started? Well, obviously, um, just like with sales, it's really important to build a relationship with that person. I think sometimes people um, get preoccupied with like the fast start bonus or um, 
even with sales, like selling a product and they forget that they're talking with a person, um, that they're like actually communicating with someone who could be their friend or someone who's looking to them for guidance. So it's really important to first establish a relationship with the people that you're going to be working with because like these people are going to be looking to you like you're their leader. They enrolled with you for a reason. So um, it's important to get to know them first and then start to talk business with them because like they need to trust you in order to like look to you and turn to you when they're struggling. You don't want them to quit when they're struggling. You want them to turn to you and be like, how did you get through this? Because you had to have gone through this too. You don't want them to be like, nope, this is too hard. I'm done. So it's really, really important to build a relationship with those people. Even if you do know them, like you're getting to know them now on a different level, you're starting to work with people. Um, so you have to get to know them on a whole, whole nother level. Yeah, I think that's seriously, it's so important because a lot of times, you know, if you're not building a relationship, they're joining, they join as soon as fears sink in, they just fall off the face of the earth. But whenever you have built that relationship with them, they're more likely to come to you and actually talk to you about them so that you have the opportunity to like really walk them through it. So um, I love that. So whenever you get them started, do you have them just like start with their customers? Like, do you just share your daily non-negotiables like with them, like what you're doing or what do you do? I guess that I'm asking is like, what do you do to make things duplicatable for your team? Oh yeah. So, um, like, like we communicate every day. We tell each other exactly what we do every day. Um, we allow them to take our posts. So like you need to post like this, send me your posts before you post them. I get people to run by things by me for the first two to three weeks if they need it. Um, so they start to get comfortable in this business. I'm like, okay, how many people have you messaged today? Make sure you're keeping track of that. Um, I get them to send me screenshots of their Instagram feed of their messaging. I mean, their messages. So I know how many people they're messaging so they can get on a roll in the beginning. So they don't have to start slow. They know exactly how the pace of this business is going to go so they can get on our team's level because we are runners and are on our team. I mean, we want to, we want to mold them into that as well. And so, um, we just kind of like allow them to dive head first without overwhelming them because we want them to know like we are on your side this entire time. So um, we kind of like push them a little bit to message people to post a lot, um, get out of their comfort zone. But once they do like all of them excel so much. Um, so it's important like to get them to start at your level and not like baby them into like, no, I kind of only want to do this. Like I want to post one picture every three days. Well, look at our Instagrams, go creep us and see like how we do it. So you can do it that way too. And once they actually take that seriously, then those are the people who are the most successful. I love it. You guys are just ready to run. I don't know if you guys can just like get that vibe from these ladies, but they're always like, I'm ready to go. And I just love that. Why y'all are growing so quickly. Like you are, it's just awesome. And like something about you guys too, is just like, it mind, like it blows my mind how you guys just know what you need. Like, I think that, you know, anytime I'm like, Hey, what are you working with? Like, what's your volumes looking like? Like, sends me a picture of her chart. Everything's updated. Like she's ready to go. And I just love that because that's something that's so big. I feel like if you don't have that goal and you don't know what you're working with, then it's just hard to get anywhere. So, um, okay, let me, I'm going to read a couple of the questions that they're asking. Okay. I don't know if there's any questions, just in comments. Okay. Um, all right. So what are, what's working best for you as far as getting customers and how do you so, deal with people? Yeah. So, um, like I just said a second ago, um, sometimes we overlook that we're talking to people through Instagram. It's really, really easy to get caught up in just like copy and pasting from our notes, like our mentors have told us to, but you have to actually acknowledge like what people say to you. Um, so a lot of my people will send me screenshots like that. They're just copy and pasting stuff from their notes. And I'm like, you can't like, you have to start to have a conversation with these people as well and not just be a script paster, right? You can't just continue to like say everything that everybody else says. You have to make it unique to yourself as well. So if you message someone, Hey girl, saw your profile. You're really pretty. Would you like to be interested in the products? And they say, thank you. You're so sweet. Like you're pretty too. And they're like, yeah, I'd love to learn. You can't just be like, so I sell these things. Like, you know, you have to acknowledge that they called you pretty too. You have to say, thank you so much. You're so cute. Like, that's so nice of you to say that. So um, I'm selling these things. You have to actually acknowledge what they're saying so you don't seem like a robot. Um, and if they're not like super into it at first, like have a conversation about what their life is. Um, I've had a lot of success with people who have kind of like, not said no to me because I'm like Lauren. I don't take 
anything except for no to leave someone alone, I'll, I'll blow somebody up before I leave, like I unfollow them. But, um, I'm like actually learn about what they're going through. Like a lot, I know a lot of my potential little customers right now are going through finals. I took the time today to message everyone who has told me that they're in school or grad school to ask them how finals are going today. Like, Hey girl, how are finals this week? And I've had so many people just message me who have left me on read for like 10 messages in a row. They've been like, that's really nice of you to check up on me. Like I'm you're in luck. I just got paid today. So like it's super, super helpful to like, like I said, build a relationship with these people actually like take note of what their life is and that they're actual people and not just a person that's going to buy something from you. Okay, for sure. How many people would you say that you message a day? Do you have a goal in mind or is it just when you can do it? Oh my gosh. Between the messages and the comments that I do, probably, I mean, definitely over a hundred, um, probably between a hundred and 200 people a day. Okay. So what, um, what if you have like a team member and they join and they're like, okay, I'm just not getting any responses back. What would you tell them? Like, what do you do? The first thing I do is tell them to send me what they're sending people. Um, if they're, um, like, Hey, your profile's cute message is like whack. Then I help them edit it and tell them like what the do's and don'ts of that message. Um, and then I get them to send me screenshots of what they think is their most successful conversation with someone thus far. Um, and then I kind of walk them through like how they should have done it differently to have closed that sale. Okay. I love it. And so how many, if you message a hundred people a day, how many would you say like message you back? I would say about 10 to 20. Okay. It's not a huge success rate. Like it is not like you're going to message 50, you're going to get 40 replies. And that's why um, it's so easy to get caught up in the negatives of this business because you feel like you're doing so much and getting so little back. But like, think of life, you can't expect to do so much for people and expect just as much back. Like you can't just be a, you can't just be a taker. You have to be a giver too. So um, like, you have to send that many messages in order to get that many back. But the more messages, more messages you send, the proportion is going to equal out where you're going to get that like 10 for every 50 messages you send, you're going to get five replies. So if you send 200 messages, you're going to get 20 replies. Like, and that's more potential for you to actually make a sale. So the more you're doing, the more you're going to get back. Yes. 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 And that's the thing is like, it's just all about how you look at it. And I think that's just so important that you said that because so many people are just like, I sent out 10 messages and no one responded. And it's like, you've sent out 10. Like we're sending out a lot of messages and getting mm -hmm. much back. And that's about how much I get back too. And so it's just a matter of how many people you're talking to and a matter of following up. You guys are doing the same thing. You're going to hear the same thing from all of them, but it's just the fact that they're doing it over and over and over again. And so was there any time last month that you felt like your promotion wasn't going to happen? And if so, like, what did you do during that time? Oh, girl, I was like, at the beginning of the month, ask Lauren, I was like, I'm going diamond with you this month. I was like, ready to go. Enrolled so many people had two blanks on my diamond chart, two blank distributor things on my diamond chart last month. All of those people quit. All of them, literally all of them. So, um, yeah, it's really, really easy to get down when that kind of stuff happens, but like this is going to like resonate with some and then not with others. But, um, I teach at a Christian, Christian school, so I'm super like God centered. Um, and what really makes me get through that kind of stuff is, um, Romans eight eighteen, And it's like, it says, um, don't let the pain you're feeling now keep you from seeing the joy that is to come. So I know that I'm going to experience hardships in this business. If you're not, then you're not going to grow. But um, in order to like reap the benefits of this business, you have to get those hard experiences so you can learn more, learn more what not to do so you're more successful in the future. So um, I know now how to get distributors and how not to get distributors. I don't just enroll every single person who comes to me because like some person, like if someone's not really super into it, but they're like, oh, I mean, I guess I'll spend the $20 and see like how it goes not to be rude, but like, I don't want to waste my $20 deal on someone who's not gonna like actually do the job. So, um, I've learned to be a little bit more picky. Um, and that's actually worked out, um, better because I've actually had a few people stay since I've decided that. And I've stopped reaching out as much to just anybody on the street. I actually do a little bit more like stalk their profile, see how active they are on social media, see how active they are with their, um, 
their followers, kind of see what they're going, what's going on with them, like see how our conversation goes in order to like then say, well, I've got $20 codes or, well, I've got spots open on my team. I want to help you get these bonuses too. So um, that's kind of what I've done with that. Absolutely. So quality over quantity for sure. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And it's like you're investing that time, you're building that relationship and that's just so important. So you guys, she could have so easily let that get to her last month and keep her from even going Emerald. You know, she was like, I'm going diamond, like thinking way ahead of the game and all these people put on her. They could have just stopped and just gave up, but they didn't. And she went Emerald. You're going to go diamond. You're going to have a really strong diamond chart now that you're waiting when you're going and you're getting those quality people and it's just all going to pay off. And you know, it's just, it is like, crazy you know this business is not easy and I just always have to like remind people this is like you get so much like so many amazing benefits from this business but it's so much work and it's just a matter of continuing to go and doing it over and over again and not letting those negatives decide whether or not you're going to make it happen or not and I just think that's so amazing so thank you so much congratulations again and I'm going to hold you accountable for done this month it's for sure going to happen because I mean use that way is it full is your chart full no, no, we're getting there. We're, ha we're making it happen. Like it's going to happen for sure. Keep me updated. I can't wait. Yes. Okay, Regan. Okay. Um, All right. We'll just start with your daily negotiables and then go from there. Okay. So every morning I wake up, I add like 150. Well, I say 150. I'm kind of a psycho like Lauren. Um, so like I always like tell myself I'm gonna add 150, but for some reason I like get in the days when I'm clicking on names on Captivate, and I'm like, and it's on the number it's like at 300. So, um, so I put about 300 people in my cloud a day, um, on Captivate to follow. And I actually, side note, recently got cloud. I was doing the local queue for a long time because it was like a lot cheaper, but I caved and paid the 9.99 to do the cloud queue. And y'all, it's so helpful. Like I didn't have to get on that app at all. It followed everybody. I was getting follow requests all day. Like highly recommend that. Um, and then I'll just post on my story. Um, I really like to, um, I really like to take videos, um, just like Lauren and Anna do. Um, I just take videos of myself, like when I'm driving to class, like I'll just, I know that sounds dangerous, but I'm safe, I promise. Um, I'll like hold the camera and like talk to the, talk to the camera, talk about products, talk about the business, talk about what I'm doing. Um, and it's just helpful because like my followers can see me, they can see a sense of humor, they can see that I'm a person, they can see like struggles, the fact that I'm a student, like that kind of thing. And so I feel like the more real we are with the people that we follow and the people that we have on social media, um, the better luck we have. Because it's like, you know, it's like Courtney, you said before, like we're not spammy. We're not, we're not, you know, reaching out to people. And like the goal isn't to sell products, like selling the products and making the money is awesome. And it's cool. But like, at the same time, we're changing people's lives, y'all. Like we're, we are telling them about this health and wellness business that we're so passionate about. We are helping them meet their weight loss goals or their skincare goals or whatever their goals are. And when we tell them about our business and how much money we're making, like you don't know how that can impact them. Um, I've heard over and over, and I know I'm rambling at this point, sorry, I got sidetracked, but I think it's so important to know that, that, you know, over and over your something happens in your life every six months, every six months, something changes. And I've heard that so many times, but it really is so true. So like, you know, I could, somebody I contacted maybe back in August, may reach out to me come January and say, Hey, look, this is going on. I really need extra money. What can I do? And it's just, you know, and it's so rewarding too, because I've had a couple girls on my team tell them how, tell me how I've helped build their confidence and helped put themselves out there. And even when they're not replying in the group message and not texting me back when I try to check in on them, they've come around and they said, look, like I'm ready, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to roll. Um, so it's just super rewarding in that sense. It's a bigger picture than selling products and making money. Um, but aside from that, I message people every day. Um, I usually just met message just for loyal customers. Um, I'm really casual, really personal, personable about it because I don't want to be spammy. Um, and then I recently started messaging for distributors just because like, I want to get rid of my coupon codes, but, um, I'll say something along the lines of like, Hey, I've debated on reaching out for you for a while. There's no pressure, but I am working on putting together a small group of people, um, that I'm going to be working super close with. You're one of the first people to come to mind. Um, you seem super genuine and outgoing. I think you'd be great. I'd be working with you to help you make at least 700 to $1,500 average. 
would you be interested? Um, and I actually have gotten a lot of responses to that. Um, people are curious, people want to know what it's about. And so when they respond to me, I'm like, I'd love to send you details. I'm so excited you're interested. Can I get your number? Um, or I'll tell them to text me and give them my number. And then when they text me, they're a lot more, they're a lot less likely to ghost me if we're texting. So I always, always, always try to get their phone number, but that's basically a day for me. Okay. You're amazing. So something I really want you to talk about is you, you've had a lot with your team. You've built to Emerald, you know, you're, you've had a lot of people quit on you and it's just about, you know, you're so, we're all like super focused on going and finding that runner with you. So like, what are some tips you can share with people that just like, what keeps you going? Like what's continue to motivate you? Like what pushes you on those days that you're feeling down? Cause no matter what, you just get back up, you're ready to run, you're ready to go and you're ready to find that person. So what is it for you? Um, that you're doing that just helps you out with that? I'm not going to lie. Um, back when I promoted Ruby, I promoted Ruby in September, October, I literally almost lost my ranking because my team has not moved. Like my team has not been making sales. Um, and I was really kind of in panic mode. I made those sales in like four days to get my Ruby back. Um, but it's, it's one of those things, like, I pro like, I'm telling you, like, in that moment, I kind of was just like, I wasn't like thinking about quitting, but it was just kind of like, dang, like, this is, this is hard. Like it's, it is hard work. Um, and it does take dedication, but, um, I definitely recommend, um, building a relationship with your upline. I know me and Lauren, were already friends, but we literally call each other every day. We're on the phone every day. Like, and I'm not going to lie. Like we complain to each other a lot. Like <laughs> if we need to vent about things going on, we're like, oh, I can't believe this. Like I'm so frustrated. Um, and it's helpful to let things out to someone who's been in the same situation I have and to who, who knows, like I can talk to my boyfriend about things I'm going through with the business, but he's just like, hmm, okay. Cause he doesn't know, you know? So to have somebody that is in the same position that you are and to be experiencing the same things you are, you, it's really helpful to build that relationship. And even if it's not your upline, like find somebody on your team that you can just call and talk to and, um, vent to about it. Because I know like, it's not a matter of if I promote, like it's when I promote. So even though like I almost lost my Ruby ranking, even though I've had like a lot of girls quit on me, I make sure I'm messaging my group messages every day. I make sure I'm asking the girls how they're doing. I'm letting them know what I'm doing. Um, and I'm trying to stay positive and keep that encouragement up because that's honestly the only thing I can do. Like I, I can't work for them. I can't do the part for them. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to them to put in the effort, but I can do my part as their mentor by encouraging them and helping them. Yes. I couldn't agree more. And I think that sometimes too, it's like, you feel so alone. Like you're the only person going through it until you do open up to that person. And like, that's something with Lauren too, is like, she'll come to me and open up a lot. And I love that because I've experienced all of this. So I can share with her what I've been through and how I got through it. So if you're ever feeling alone, definitely find that person that you can just like vent to and open up to, but just know that you can't stay down for long. And I know you guys don't like you'll be, you'll vent about it, but you're still working. You're still going for it. And then like the next day it's like, okay, like, you know, you enroll someone, you, you know, you enroll some more customers. And so it's just a matter of just continuing to grow and really just like, find that you can vent to, I know that you're not alone because so many things are going to come across that you're just like, wow, this is really just trying to stop me. I mean, it's just insane. Like, especially when you're going for a promotion, the things that try to get in your way of it. And like, I don't know, like it's kind of mind blowing. Like the stories I've heard over the years of like, wow, this is like going on right now. And it's like, right. When something so big and good is about to happen, and there's business, like the things that happen, it just literally blows my mind. But, um, okay. So what is your, like, as far as like enrolling distributors and stuff, how you do it like you say you message are you getting a pretty good response you said from messaging um somewhat but um mm -hmm. uh, yes and no I have girls be curious and they'll message me back and I'll send them information and they might ghost me um but usually as far as getting distributed it mostly comes from posting like I especially yesterday um I don't know if y'all are in the diamond elite group message but they're doing like a boot camp right now and yesterday I was like you know what I'm doing this so I posted like two times on my Instagram yesterday, which is like a lot for me, <laughs> like posting more than once is a lot on like an actual Instagram post, um, posted on my story, did, did a live video, sent out messages, like all the stuff that we're supposed to do, but I like took it up a notch yesterday and y'all, my inbox was blowing up. Like I, I signed a girl yesterday. I made a sale yesterday and like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but to have done that in one day, like just because I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take it to the max level as I can, like it definitely pays off. Um, 
but I do want to add one thing that I thought of Courtney. Um, I watched a video. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but there's a video of a girl who did a, um, a zoom and she told her story um, about joining. And the one thing she said that stuck out to me so much. And I think I still think about it. Um, she said, the truth of the matter is God already has your chart filled out. God already knows when you're going to promote, how you're going to promote, promote. He knows every single name and every single box. He has every volume in that box. He knows every sale that made those volumes. He said, your, she said, your job is to go get them. Like it's already planned out for you. And like that set a fire underneath, underneath me. Cause I was like, you know what? There's a reason I joined the business and I'm not going to quit when it gets hard, you know? So I just wanted to share that with y'all because that helped me a lot. Yeah. And that gives me like goosebumps because it's so true. Like, and it's crazy. Like, you know, when you just keep going and you find that person that's just like you and you're like, this is it. Like, this is why I did it. And like, it's one thing, like, you know, we all start for ourselves, right? Cause we all want to make some extra income. But like, once you start and you just like have people start to join your team and you just like listen to their story and you watch what this starts to do for their life, it just gives you a whole new meaning to this business. And I think it's just like definitely by far one of the best things about it. Um, so I love that. But what, so whenever you guys first enroll distributors, you automatically add them to your team chat that you guys have. Are you guys all in like one big chat or do you have separate chats that you, that you like train in? So I have, um, my team, um, and then I'm in one, actually Lauren had this idea. She made a group message with her leaders, like her top girls. And so I've done the same thing with my group. So I've got my team in a group message and Lauren's in it. And then I have my team, um, with my leaders, a group message with my leaders. And that's super helpful just because like with my leaders, I can remind them, like, help me encourage the other girls, like, because y'all are close to promoting, like we're going to get y'all promoted. And so collaborating in that way where I can push the leaders to encourage the new girls is really helpful. Um, but I don't ever add, a, add somebody to the group message, to the team group message until they're completely trained. Like once they're messaging people on their own, then I'll add them and be like, Hey, like y'all welcome. So-and-so. Um, and so, some girls are like, I'll, I, I'm not going to lie. Like I've had some girls sign up and it takes me two weeks to train them because they just don't text me back. Um, and then the girl I signed yesterday, like added her last night to the group message. So it, it's all, it's just different every time. Okay. Yeah. I think that's awesome. So then they're around everyone else and can learn, you know, I think it's just nice to have those extra people they can look up to and stuff through it too. So I really like that you guys do that. I know I was in Yarl's group message for a while and like, you guys are just like ready, like leaders that are just like, you just are grabbing onto it. Like you're not waiting to learn to like lead your team or anything. Like you guys are jumping on Zooms with your teams. You're putting them in these chats, you're sharing tips. Like you're just doing, you know, everything you guys are doing is just being duplicatable down to your teams. And I think that's why you guys are just growing so quickly because you're just grasping onto it and like running. You're not waiting whatsoever. And I think that's just so cool. So um, if you could leave us just with like one last tip, anything you want to share, what would it be? Um, communicate with your team. Like it's so important for everybody to be on the same page, especially for um, promotion purposes. Like I recently had my girls list out their goals for this month. And like I sent my goals and I said, look, I want to have 6,000 in group volume. I want to chart for diamond. I want to get 25 loyal customers this month, like specific short-term goals that I could reach this month. And I had, not all my girls did it, but most of them sent me their goals back. And so for me as their leader, knowing their goals helps me hold them accountable and helps me remind them of their why and remind them of, um, you know, how, how soon they can promote if they just put in the effort. And so um, definitely communicate, um, especially, especially when it comes to moving sales and moving distributors, make sure that everybody's on the same page for that. <laughs> Yes, I couldn't agree more. You're amazing. Thank you so much for getting on. I know I just asked all you guys super last minute, but it, I was like, I was like, there's no way all three of them are going to say yes. And then all three of you guys were like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. You guys, this team is killing it. If you need some people to look up to, these are the three girls that you definitely want to be looking up and doing what they're doing because I'm telling you, it's working. I'm so excited to watch you promote this month. It's happening. This is your month. And I'm just excited. So you guys haven't experienced like the beginning of the year yet. And I keep telling Lauren this, but I'm like, y'all don't even know what's coming. Like you guys are about to just be blown away because the work that you're putting in now, and it's just going to be freaking huge. And I just can't wait. So thank y'all again so much for getting on. Um, Lauren, if you, did you think of anything that you wanted to share about promoting? Um, definitely be strategic. Um, like everyone has said, 
so many times I will, when I'm feeling so overwhelmed, but I know that I want to promote, but it feels so out of control. I'm like, I can't make it happen. First thing I do is I talk to Courtney. I'm like, this is what I have so far. Can you double check? She'll double check it for me. Second thing I do, talk to my top leaders like Anna and Reagan. This is what we have to do. Pass that on to your team. And like, it's just very, very strategic. Every single cell is placed somewhere for a reason. Everything every person is placed somewhere for a reason. And it's, that's why communication is key. You guys, like it can be so overwhelming when you have 60 people making sales going every which way, when you only have one common goal. So like at the end of the day, like everyone's goal is basically the same. So if you all just get on the same page, like I can reach my goal while Reagan reaches hers and while Anna reaches hers too. That's why like teamwork is the biggest thing ever. So I just highly recommend being strategic, making a plan. And if you need help, ask your upline or literally like ask Courtney, if you don't have it, I've heard a lot of people like my upline doesn't talk to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Like literally Courtney is the nicest person in the world. If you like message her, she'll be, she'll help you. She'll literally help anyone. Like, even if it's something you think is so small, like, I know I was like, looking back now, like I, I, I used to freak out to Courtney, like, how do I go executive? Like, you know, like help, help, you know, like, and now it's just crazy. Like how everything has like just grown off of that, but everything starts like somewhere y'all. And even if it doesn't seem like you're doing a lot, it, it will build up the only difference between you and like Courtney, like this, she's this is what she told me when I first started. The only reason that like not everyone is an ambassador when they join this company is because people quit along the way. So I might have a good month, I might have a bad month, but I know I'm not quitting because like that is going to be the difference between me and someone who doesn't reach the top. So that's all I have. So yeah, Lauren constantly tells me, you guys, she's like, I'm gonna be an ambassador. Like I'm going to the top. Like it's just she's so focused. She knows what she wants. You know, whatever you're doing, keep doing because it's working. I'm just so proud of you guys. You guys are seriously amazing since the day you started. I've just been like blown away from you all. And Lauren is so funny. Like I just wish y'all could like listen to her voice messages because she cracks me the like she's cracks me up all the time. She's like, this is so scary. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Like, how am I actually gonna go diamond? And then like she's like enrolling a million people over here. I'm like, well, you're doing the thing. Like, I think you're doing a great job, but it's so funny. Um, you just crap me up. But anyways, I just want to thank you all again so much. Y'all are killing it. I'm so excited to watch you guys in December strong. And um, I did record this. I'm going to stop it real quick.